Hey everyone, this is Sal Kingeloso from Geek.com and I'm here with the Amazon Fire Phone. We're going to be doing a short video series with the Fire Phone and I want to kick it off with a look at the hardware. Uh, as you've probably seen, the Fire Phone is a uh, black slab, kind of along the lines of the iPhone, but also so many other phones that are out these days. It's got the glass front, glass back, the pretty prominent Amazon logo over there. See the camera and the flash on the back but not much else. On the front we see multiple cameras so there's sensors at each corner and then of course your front facing camera so uh, past that is pretty standard equipment. Buttons are, it's a little hard to make out but this is a a button right there. There's a button on top along with a top headphone jack. The bottom you have your micro USB for charging and on the side you have your SIM card slot, your power but your sorry your volume buttons, and then this is a camera button. So press it, and it'll go right into camera mode. So that's pretty cool. Is it's really quick access to camera. Uh, might be a bit of a hassle since you're going to probably be accidentally touching that a lot. Uh, some phones have your on off over here, so I've been hitting that a fair bit and getting into the camera as opposed to going into a home screen or a lock screen. Just as far as the specs go, we'll run through them real quickly. It's uh, The phone is 160 grams. It's 4.7 inch display. It runs a 2.2 gigahertz quad core processor. The uh, that, that display, by the way, is 1280 by 720. So it's not exactly where some other high-end Android devices are right now. It's got uh, two, gig two gigabytes of RAM, and then either a two or four, and then, sorry, then either 32 or 64 gigabytes of storage. It's got a 13 megapixel rear facing camera and a 2.1 megapixel front facing camera. So, the uh, overall, just you know, more subjectively, the hardware is solid. It feels good, but this is a uh, a kind of chunky device. Here it is next to an iPhone 5. Uh, it's hard to see, but you can see it's a, it's a fair bit thicker. It's a good deal larger, which is not shocking given the, the uh, change in display size. But uh, what's more bothersome is the extra weight and then, like I said, the extra thickness. Uh, it feels like a pretty hefty device. It can still fit in your pocket, but uh, it, it's a far cry from some of the uh, other nice Android phones out there. Anyway, this is Sal Congeloso from Geek.com with the Amazon Fire Phone. Thanks for watching.